All right, guys, uh, so uh, this is gonna be the third and final part of our uh, backseat reupholstery uh, series right here. Uh, now we have the bottom bench seat that goes in the back of the Mustang here. Uh, I haven't touched anything on this yet. This is still kind of just how it was uh, right here when I took it out. So uh, first things first is we're just gonna start getting all these uh, hog rings off of here and uh, we're gonna open it up a little bit, see how it looks. Um, if it's in the same condition as the other one is, I'll probably just get rid of everything out of here clean up the frame and, and do do everything kind of like what we just did um if it's still usable we, we may try and use some of the foam so we'll, we'll just kind of have to see as we as we dive into it so uh let's get started and uh see what we're working with here all right now i have been using these right here uh these uh snips uh, in order to get the hog rings off uh, one thing i heard is if you use some uh some of these lineman's pliers um, they uh, they work maybe a little bit easier uh, to get them off of there uh, when you when you snip them they kind of go everywhere and you have to kind of pick them out of everything uh, with these I believe you can just grab it and twist it and it should just break it right off so we'll, uh, we'll see how these work Alright, so you may want to keep these cutters nearby because some of these are going to be a little bit too tight to get with those lineman's pliers. So there's a lot of uh, hog rings on the burlap that connect it to the bottom of the seat frame here as well. All right, guys, uh, so this one's not in as bad of shape as the other one was. Um, what I am gonna do, I'm probably not gonna reuse this stuff with the lit, with these uh, wires, with these really, really thin wires in here. Um, just, it's all tearing up, and to be honest with you, I think that would be a, kind of a waste of time trying to pick all that out of there. Uh, so I am gonna get rid of this stuff, uh, and honestly, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of the padding and start fresh on this right here. Uh, so I am gonna go through, though, and pull out any of the actual listing wires and the in the seat in the uh, cover itself and then from there we'll just we'll, we'll go from there with it but I don't think I'm going to reuse this stuff right here at all here's one of the listing wires from the middle of the uh, seat right here so we're going to save that and then we'll get this one on from the other side too and we'll save that right there All right, guys, uh, so we got the uh, the bottom of the seat frame. Uh, we got it all uh, scrubbed down, primed, painted, and uh, now we're ready to uh, start reassembly on this. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the burlap across the top of this right here, and then uh, from there we'll do our foam, and, uh, and I'm gonna get some more of that cotton batting, and uh, that'll kind of roll over the sides to kind of protect uh, the cover when it wraps around and everything right here. Uh, so uh, let's uh, get to it. All right, guys, so, I think I'm going to do this a little bit differently than uh, than they had it before. Before they had it broken up into three different sections for the burlap across the seat. They had a one side, the middle, and then the other side. Um, I feel like this will be a little bit better uh, to just do one piece all the way across right there. Uh, I think it'll be a little bit more uh, sturdy because uh, I'm not using those wires across like they uh, like they had originally. Uh, so I think I'm going to try this instead of doing the three separate pieces, actually. Uh, I kind of like the way, I think it'll be a little more simpler to do it this way. Uh, I can fold around my edges right here. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it a little bit long so I can fold my edges around. Um, and uh, just, uh, I think it'll look a lot cleaner. It'll be a lot simpler and uh, it'll still give me the, the support that I, uh, that I need for the foam. 
Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll give that a shot instead. All right, guys, uh, so we got the burlap across the uh, the seat right here. Um, I hog ringed down to the middle section a little bit to give it that contour uh, to it right here. I might add another one up here and up here. Uh, I do have some wires that will come up from underneath and uh, I can always I can hog ring those to it too. Um, so I think it'll turn out pretty good. Uh, I think the next thing is I'm gonna do is I gotta go get some new foam for it. I don't have quite enough from my last uh, one that I just did for the backrest. Uh, so we'll pick up some new foam some new uh, cotton because we used all that up as well and then uh, we should be able to get that on here get it cut out to fit and then uh, we'll start uh, shaping it a little bit uh, to the uh, to the seat right here and uh, we'll cover it and see how it how it goes uh, so uh, let's get to it all right now for trimming the foam i'm just going to do the exact same thing as i did on the other one and i'm going to use this uh, this uh, blade right here from a hacksaw and I'm just going to kind of trace around the rough outline and we'll uh, use the batting to kind of smooth everything out once it's all once it's all cut down to size here. All right, guys, so we got it all cut out. Again, it's a little bit rough with the uh, hacksaw, uh, but again, that's you're never gonna see that, so I'm really not too concerned about that right there. I uh, got it cut out, I'd say, pretty decently. Uh, now, I'm going to go on ahead and start uh, forming it and kind of test fitting stuff and uh, seeing where I'm gonna need to hog ring stuff down to. So uh, we're gonna start on that and see where it goes. All right, guys, now uh, one thing to point out on my factory uh, style seats uh, that I had there, I had a couple extra listing rods right here. Uh, they went through like like right about here or so on each side of the seat. Uh, this new one, uh, I've looked kind of all over it and it doesn't seem to have any other pockets for these to fit into. Uh, so it looks like I'm not gonna need to use those on this one. Um, but uh, just keep an eye out on your on your seat covers that you're using. Uh, if you're using the factory ones, you'll probably need to reuse these ones that came out of your factory one. Uh, however, mine are just using the two middle ones right here.
All right, guys. So I've got uh, I've got these listing wires hog ringed up into the uh, into the springs right up in here. Uh, so I think that should be good. I may have to redo this middle one that I put in here. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll kind of stretch it out and see how it works now. And uh, hopefully we got it right. If not, we'll just uh, redo it. So there is half the seat right there. So this looks all right for the first little bit right here. So we're gonna start working on this side and see if we can get it looking somewhat decent over here too. All right, guys, uh, so we pretty much got this all good right here. Uh, I am going to try and fix this a little bit right here in the middle. I'm just going to kind of clip off some of these hog rings and try and stretch it out a little bit uh, 
this way uh, to see if that helps it. Uh, so uh, let's give that a shot here. guys uh, so here is the finished product um, you know overall I'm uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out um, you know this being my first time trying my hand at upholstery um, I think it turned out okay um, you know it's not perfect um, but it's you know I learned a new skill set um, you know which if I do it again you know I can get better at it um, but at least I kind of know kind of like you know what goes into it a little bit here uh, and I had fun trying it out. So, you know, this, this is what I did, uh, right here. Um, it, it's, you know, it's not bad. It, it, it turned out all right. I think, um, the only thing that I would really do differently on here, if, if I had to, is I would, uh, use a little bit thinner foam for the bottom seat right here. The bottom seat, I'm not going to lie. It was, this was kind of a pain, uh, to do this one right here. Um, it, it was not uh, as easy as the back one, the, the upper back one. Uh, so uh, just know that going in, if you're going to be doing this, um, the bottom seat is a little bit harder uh, to do than the than the upper backrest seat right here. But uh, still, again, you know, I had fun trying it out. Um, you know, I've never done it before. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this video has helped you guys. Um, and uh, if, uh, if you have any questions on anything, of course, feel free to drop a comment, uh, you know, in the comment section below. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, and uh, we'll go on ahead, we'll get this installed and we'll, we'll see what the final result looks like. All right, guys. So there you go. So there is the uh, the back seats that have been reupholstered, uh, installed in the car here. All right, guys. So that is how you do uh, the reupholstering of your rear seats in your '66 Mustang. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Uh, overall, you know, I'm I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, especially this is my since this is my first time doing any type of upholstery work. Um, I did notice um, on some of the sides on the bottom, um, on, on both sides of the bottom of the seat, uh, it had a little bit of a gap uh, between the seat and the, uh, and the trim panel in there. Uh, so I think I will, I, I do have some extra cotton, cotton batting, so I'm going to just kind of stuff that in there to kind of push it out a little bit right there. But other than that, I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy and stoked with how it turned out. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, please, if you, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you on the next project. Thank you.